The CDC is saying yes, doctors and nurses can give kids 12 to 15 years old the Pfizer COVID vaccine. In Georgia, 12-year-old Jane Ellen Norman was ready to get her shot. I hope that they all get vaccinated um, and so we can see each other. As younger and younger groups get the go-ahead, how these vaccines could interact with other common adolescent vaccines is a concern. So the CDC is including guidance language, saying healthcare providers should consider that giving multiple shots at the same time could result in a bad reaction. Adding a COVID vaccine to their schedule really will be minimum, and we will be able to get that in uh, their arms, so to speak, um, hopefully very soon. This comes as nearly a quarter of newly diagnosed coronavirus cases in the U.S. are among kids and teens. So why is this happening? Well, as more and more adults are vaccinated, children and teens make up more of the cases. Many of them just have mild disease. A handful of them have been uh, developing a really, really, um, you know, severe illness where they have a hyperinflammatory state. Um, high fevers. Pfizer's extra cold storage needs are a challenge as the shots open up to younger age groups. Pfizer's allowed people to keep it at f normal freezer temperatures for two weeks, um, but giving out uh, 1,200 doses of vaccine in two weeks is very difficult. Um, and so we do have an ultra low freezer, so we're able to store it for up to six months. Not as many primary care offices, small doctor offices have these high tech deep sub-zero freezers. So if your kid falls into this age group and now they're able to get a vaccine, here's a couple of other helpful tips for after the shot. The CDC says it's okay to give age-appropriate Motrin or Tylenol if they're feeling achy afterwards, but not before. And the CDC plans to continue to follow studies on how long immunity will last and booster shots. And parents can register their kids in something called V-Safe. It's their way for the CDC to continue that safety monitoring checking after someone's gotten the vaccine. In San Francisco, I'm Lindsay Thies for Newsy.